California beaches are disappearing little by little every year, but now LA County is stepping in to help with a $5 million boost to protect popular spots like Zuma, Redondo, and Dockwaller beaches from rising sea levels. The plan is to add more sand and other natural defenses so people can enjoy the coastline for many more years. We're joined live by Jacob Margolis, science reporter for LAS, who just reported on this. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Can you talk about how much reduction we're seeing at the beach? Yeah, you know what? Um, it's an ongoing problem that has been, I guess, going on since the uh, since since beaches formed um, on planet Earth. You have the the <laughs> movement of material uh, away from these areas, and usually it would get dropped on these areas as well. But because of various interventions that we've had along the coast, um, you know, we need to go in sometimes and nourish said beaches and really expand them. Um, there is a stat that is quite uh, quite alarming that as much as two thirds of Southern California's beaches could disappear by 2100. Wow. Jeez. <clears throat> that's quite a few. Yeah, that's that's so insane. And the beaches we talked about, these changes will be happening at mm -hmm. are beloved. Mm -hmm. They're so popular. So what changes will people notice as they continue to enjoy them? Yeah, so Zuma and Dockweiler will be getting, uh, and they're they're entering, by the way, the planning and design phases of these projects. So we'll have to see how it ultimately plays out. But Zuma and Dockweiler will see a whole bunch of sand uh, dumped on them and spread. We'll see low sand barriers put up that basically stop the sand from blowing away. And Redondo, um, interestingly enough, we could see dune restorations as well, which are really cool uh, because we've lost quite a few of the dunes um, a lot of our dunes throughout Southern California, uh, just again, due to like road construction, the building of airports, um, also the scraping of sand by, mm. you know, to clean up the beaches, all those dunes get broken down and they would naturally serve as barriers for, um, to protect the coastline uh, against waves. And so they'll be planting a whole bunch of native plants out there likely. Uh, and again, bringing in, bringing in some additional sand. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I live yeah. near Dockweiler. I'm happy to hear that. Nice. <laughs> that sounds yeah. great. But because I live near there, I, am I still going to be able to go to the beach during restoration? Right. Yeah, I, I imagine that there are going to be areas where you won't want to be hanging out with big, humongous trucks carting, you know, uh, a whole bunch of sand along and, and dumping it and then the big machines spreading it out. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I would imagine the beaches are quite big. And so that is the benefit to uh, living here in Southern California. You know, I think Azuma, one of the most visited beaches in Southern California. And, um, you know, I don't think the entire thing will be shut down. OK, OK, good to know. OK, we're talking yeah. beach visitors. What but, about people who live near the mm. beach? Will they have any impacts? It, it's definitely something that I am sure they're already dealing with traffic quite often, especially during the tourist season. Um, but yeah, I would imagine you're going to be listening to a lot of a lot of trucks rumble along. But again, uh, if I lived near the beach, I, I maybe that's a, a sound that I would learn to cherish because you're, they're literally building up defenses against uh, rising sea levels coming in and, and potentially impacting properties. Oh. All right. All very interesting. Yeah. Jacob, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and to read Jacob's full article, we will send you a link on our website, kcalnews.com. Just click Scene on TV to find that.